He's already got quite a docket, AB. Would you like to introduce us to Cringe, please? Yes. So the first exhibit under Cringe is a meet and greet that James hosted where he was overcharging fans. Um, the tickets were $500 for the VIP package. Damn. Yeah. Um, the other prices range, but um, you can see if you want to look at the screenshot down here of what was included with the $500 package. Let's see. Sister VIP. Zoom in a little bit. Literally the best way. Li I love they start literally. Bro, come on. This is the... I'm spending $500. Don't start with literally. Literally, the best way to experience the sister tour is this extremely limited sister VIP ticket with exclusive access, access to a sister-only hangout with James, a one-on-one -on -one meeting and photo with James, an exclusive sister goodie bag, and a VIP laminated hand-signed by James. You will not want to miss it. You will also receive the very best seats in the house to see James Charles live. What's Does that make sister signs? It does. Thank Made you. Perfect, source of perfect sense. Uh, exclusive hangout with James. Wait, I just read all that. How many lists do I need, bro? Am I right? You're right. <laughs> um, so this is basically just that he was trying to charge people five hundred dollars to see to. What is his show? What is he doing? Is this a meet and greet? Um, no, he does singing as well. There's a, there's a. <laughs> Oh my God. James the, announced he's uh, going on a 24 city tour over the summer. The general admission was 60. The VIP tickets started at 100, and the most exclusive tier was 500. 500 sister VIP will give purchasers an exclusive hangout with James. Um, 500? That's a lot to ask for little girls to pay up just to meet him. Well, maybe you need to see what it looks like first to see if it was worth it. It's down here versus James singing. This is what your 500 bucks will get you. Oh, are these just tweets complaining? Yeah. Here, let me read some of these. The way James Charles is charging 500 for a VIP ticket, knowing full well that the majority of his fans aren't going to be able to afford it on their own. Yeah, definitely lots of parents having to crack open the vault for that. Young, impressionable fans will still be whipped up enough to bank break their bank account for hanging out with him. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty outrageous. 500. Fuck. Have you ever paid $500 for any event of any kind? Yeah, I, f I mean, I've paid that much for Hamilton tickets. Mm, okay. But I enough. will say that I think that's probably a better experience than staring at James Charles. <laughs> well, let's be... I don't know on. about that. Oh, let's, whoa, let's whoa, whoa, whoa. Back video. it up. Let's there were good the seats, too. I'm just going to say that. Let's just see if this is up to <laughs> Hamilton level. He responded on Twitter. Did he get caddy on Twitter? He always does. I'm oh, currently yeah. talking to my team about the ticket price. Bitch, you knew the prices! What the fuck is he? He did the same shit to us with the team. He goes, I'm going to talk to my team about ripping off your designs. <laughs> okay, dude. I understand the frustration and want everyone to be able to attend, but please understand this is very expensive to drive across the country with an entire team of tour staff and put on signs at a huge venue that's all summer long. The venue holds several thousand people. So <laughs> because a tour of this high, I was just blown away that he's selling that many tickets. Thousand people because a tour of this high in demand. Trust me, I oh, wish I could see it. I could wish I could see everyone, but it's physically impossible to meet thousands of people on a daily basis. It has to be different tickets, packages. I promise you that I'm trying to lower them, but it's as affordable as possible. But I personally am doing this tour for fun and to say thank you. But please remember, there's a huge team and company working hard. So he's basically saying, listen, I'm not even making that much money. I could be fucking making more money. I'm, I, he's like, listen, I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this for you. I don't buy it. He believes his presence is a present, as they would say. Man, he always pulls this shit on Twitter where he's like, I'm talking to my team, but also fuck you. <laughs> like, that's always his, ex his excuse. <laughs> Let's see. He responded. James responded to why he deleted. Oh, Ned, he deleted his tweets. Yeah. Why'd you delete the tweet? Because I'm talking to my team about ticket prices as it wasn't the mood to read negativity and rude comments. No, not including constructive criticism when I'm already dealing with a lot. Yeah, you're always dealing with a lot. I get the feeling. Okay, here's a video of James singing. Y'all get can... the fuck out! Oh my god, this is what the show was? Bro, yeah. this was it? Well, you tell me. Of you it. think this is What? This is the Hamilton this is caliber. The venue? Wait, what's so expensive? He's literally just standing on like a makeshift stage with a cardboard box behind him. Eesh. 
Yeah. You don't think that's a five hundred dollar venue? You're right. It is better than Hamilton. Old Joe. <laughs> he's one of these guys that thinks if he just has like a bunch of range that he's a good singer. Eat out my ass. Eat out my ass. <laughs> Eat <out> my <laughs> it's funny because I can't even make out the words. He's basically just doing what I'm doing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That doesn't look, I mean, listen, I'm only 34, I ain't been around that long, but I, I think you can, you can get a better experience for 500 bucks. Fans paid $500 to duet with James. Oh, no kidding, there's more. <laughs> Bro, this looks like, this looks like a cult meeting. I just watched this no documentary, The Vow, about Nexium, and there's scenes that look literally just like this, where Keith... Oh no, this is, this is unbelievable. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. This shouldn't be, this shouldn't exist. There's a mom here who's like, what in the fuck? Look at her. Look at this mom, she's like, what the fuck? This is the worst thing of all time. This is the worst thing ever. People are not even having fun. For my dreams to be heard. That is so true. Look at all the faces. They're shocked. Look at her. I don't know. Oh, cause you won't listen. 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 Eat out my ass. Treat all my girls like trash. Now I'm done believing you. Bitches that'll get you. You don't know what I'm Bro, this is going on so I'm long too. You made of me. I followed the voice. You gave Bro, this is tough. This is crazy. Bruh. I wonder if he would sell me a $500 ticket, like what Idubs did to Tanacon, if I could do a duet with him. Or not Tanacon, he went to a family. Group. Here's an IG video of James on canceling. Oh, he canceled the sister tour? Oh no. Media. Like a tour has been such a huge, huge dream ride, and the fact that it was becoming a reality and that it was almost completely sold out is like still so mind blowing to me, and I am so grateful. Um, obviously, as well, a lot has gone on in the past few weeks, which has led many people, including myself, wondering what was going to happen to tour. And after the last week of meetings and phone calls and trying to figure it out and talking to myself and my tour company and my friends and family, we've officially come. Um, to the very, very tough decision that I... Not worth it. I wasn't making enough money. I was doing it for fun, and now you got... So what, did he cancel it because he was sick of people giving him shit? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And there was the situation with... Ta Does that make sister sense? Mm -hmm. With Tati was at that time as well. Oh, the, all the Tati drama? Yeah.